Hi everyone, I'm Kevin Kerrigan. I'm a composer, producer, and also an instructor at Point Blank. Within this tutorial series, we'll be looking at Spitfire Audio's new library, London Contemporary Orchestra Strings, and I'll be sharing with you some composition tips which should give you a flavour of what you could learn on one of Point Blank's courses online and in London, LA, or Ibiza. You can check out their full range of courses at pointblankmusicschool.com. So let's have a listen to some of the sounds themselves, starting with the violins. Now there are three broad types of articulations here in general. We have the held legato sounds, these nice, delicate, sort of beautiful sounds, the staccato articulations, and then all the amazing effects sounds. Let's start looking at some of these uh, legato sounds. As we were discussing earlier, it's a good idea on these legato sounds to use your mod wheel to uh, control the dynamic. If you're going to play in the mod wheel later and you just want to put in the basic notes at first, it's a good idea to drop your dynamics down to about quarter here. And for a lot of these legato sounds, for a pure, folkier, more sort of open sound, it's worth taking the vibrato right down as well. And again, you can perform that to create more of a sense of emotion and there's sort of emotional swells but generally I, I find on the legato sounds it's worth taking those two sort of down at first. In real life violin sounds for example are hard to record well and often sound kind of harsh and brittle. You know these recordings by Spitfire are warm and lush and, and you can really tell there's some great engineering behind this as well as obviously some excellent players actually performing in front of the mics. Let's have a look at some of these uh, legato sounds. This one here we've heard a bit already. This is vivid long and this is a useful general legato sound. It's really emotional but not too over the top and this is a good sound to use dynamics with both with the mod wheel to create those swells and playing with the vibrato to change that kind of emotional tone. Another beautiful legato patch is this one here, Sal Taste. Generally, when you're playing chords on these type of sounds, these type of legato sounds, it's often a, a good idea to voice your chords more openly. So, for example, if I was playing C major 7 there, rather than playing all the notes in uh, root position as they come there. Just creating some open spaces there. So I'm going to play the E up here and the B up here, for example. You can hear it has a, a much more sort of open tone. It really suits these types of sounds. Another really nice legato sound, which is a really sort of cinematic quality to it. And again, beautifully recorded is this sound here, the um, open normal sound. And another really useful sound that's really good for creating a quite ghostly, subtle effect is uh, harmonics. These are really hard to record in real life um, without getting lots of other sort of noise on the recording and so on. So, you know, these have been really well performed and really well recorded. With these, it's generally a good idea to have the vibrato and dynamics quite far down because the more pure that harmonic sounds, the, the, the nicer.
so we've got lots of options for really interesting effects type sounds here, such as this one here, long super pont. Very cool. Next we got this one here, Spectral Scrubs, which I confess I've never heard of this particular articulation, but it's really interesting. And there are a variety of tremolo sounds as well, which are really useful for creating kind of tense sounds, such as this one here, the uh, open irregular tremolo. And this one here, the granular tremolo. And this is a transition sound from open granular to normal. And this one here, tremolo cell pont, which is a kind of classic thing in things like horror films. String players in real life hate playing this as it ruins their expensive bows, so these samples could save you a lot of bother even if you have an orchestra to hand. And of course these types of sound really lend themselves to clusters. And we also have these really cool detuned slackered sounds, which um, those of you who are familiar with um, Johnny Greenwood's score for There Will Be Blood will recognise this kind of sound. It's really cool. And there's this interesting sound here, twitchy, which is like a general legato sound with some twitchy weirdness. really useful for kind of thrillers and those kind of tension based things so a whole range of really interesting uh, textures there and there are also some excellent short staccato sounds as well such as this one here the dig staccato helpfully marked out with a, a little spade icon there which is really good for you know really cutting through a mix that kind of staccato and we also have a slightly less aggressive staccato, but it's still more kind of percussive than um, a typical staccato here. This one here, vivid spiccato. This interesting one here, slack crescendo. And a percussive pizzicato sound. Generally with these staccato sounds you can take an advantage of a really nice feature which is built into the interface which is um, a kind of arpeggiator.
called the ostinatum, which can help you build ostinato figures and, and create some really interesting effects. Uh, to do this, you select a um, short sound and you just click here, this um, little note thing here, and then you get the uh, ostinatum appear. There are a few different modes which affect uh, if you play a chord in, how it will uh, interpret that chord. So you can do it in the order press, descending or descending, and there's a few other key switch uh, functions as well in there. Uh, the main section is here. Uh, where you choose a particular note value or set of note values and you can program in a pattern. So I'll just do using triplets here. You know, sometimes it's nice just to try some random velocities or if you're working to a particular track, you can always emphasize the accents of that particular track. Next we have the violas, the most underrated instrument of the strings, very very useful and in this particular case wonderfully recorded, again really nice warm kind of woody tones here. A similar selection of articulations to the, to the violins if not exactly the same, um, but of course being violas a very sort of different kind of tone um, and obviously you can blend these things together. So let's have a listen to some of the legato sounds. Vivid long. Uh, Siltasto. Harmonics. and open normal. And of course we have those really interesting tremolo and effect sounds as well. And of course we have the selection of short sounds as well. And we of course have the celli. With these in the basses, there are actually a few less articulations. Probably it was the designers didn't want to waste our time with sounds which didn't work. Um, overall, in general, there's a real sense of curation here and it feels like they haven't just put every sound they've recorded into this. They've actually left us with the sounds that are going to actually be usable. Though some people may find some of these sounds strange. That in, in the context of scoring, um, for example, a film or a game, uh, these are actually very kind of useful sounds 
for creating those kind of strange textures that you often need to draw on. And with this general aesthetic of experimentation and contemporaryness here, even when using some of the kind of non-effect sounds, the more typical sounds like the harmonics, you know, it can be a really good idea to take on board that ethos of experimentation and and experiment in other ways using effects or using perhaps some unusual harmony, you know, maybe using an unusual You know, these sounds really lend themselves well to being creative and experimental and escaping those cliches. So let's go through some of these uh, cello sounds here. So we have the legato sounds, such as vivid long. Harmonics. Open normal. as well as the various effect sounds. love it and one of my favorites is this one here long slackened with this particular sound i find it's quite nice to blend in a little bit of effects too for a little bit more weirdness and growl and a little bit of mx2 as well There's a short slackened option as well. And uh, spiccato and pizzicato options.
And then we have this fourth instrument here, which is a mixture of basses and cello playing together with the same articulations available as the, uh, the cello patch. Some really great sort of menacing sounds there. And um, between these four voices, of course, you have the whole range of, of sounds there. <laughs> 